Hey there! We're going to show you how to use RunPod to deploy an instance of Automatic 11.11 and generate videos using the Deforum extension. So let's dive right in. First things first, we need to start in RunPod. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one. Use the link in the description to create your own RunPod account. Once you're logged in, head over to the Community Cloud and select an instance. I usually pick the RTSA 5000. Next, click Deploy. Select the RunPod Fast Stable Diffusion template, increase the disk size, and click Continue. Now click on My Pods and check the deployment status of your pod. When it's complete, click Connect to the Jupyter Notebook. In Jupyter, open the Automatic 1111 Notebook and run each of the cells without modification. The last cell starts automatic 1111. Once it's started, go back to RunPod and connect to it via port 3000. Within automatic 1111, click on extensions, then available. Then, load from button. And search for Deforum. From the list, click Deforum's Install button. Then, go to Installed, click Check for Updates and Apply and Restart the UI. You'll see an error message, but don't worry, just give it a second, then refresh your browser. You should now see the Deforum tab. Click on it. As you scroll down, you'll notice tabs to configure various aspects. For this tutorial, we're going to use all of the default configuration options, but with a custom image as a starting frame. To do this, go back to your Jupyter Notebook and upload your custom start image. Make sure it's 512 by 512 pixels. Right click on the image and copy the image path. Then come back to Deforum. Click the init tab. Make sure to check the use init checkbox. Paste the path, making sure it's fully qualified and then click generate. To download the video, go back to your Jupyter Notebook and browse to the Outputs folder.
you'll find the video stored as an MP4 file. And that's it. You've successfully generated a video using RunPod and Defora. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. Your support really helps us out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this one. We're always working on new content to help you master the latest tools and techniques in media generation and beyond. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave a comment below. Until the next.